Hey, <clears throat> good morning. I'm going to tell you a little bit about my experience with the cupping from yesterday up until this morning. From June 27th, 2019 to June 28th, 2019. I just want to keep clear on the dates. Um, <clears throat> it's almost a year of wet cupping for me. A year of wet cupping, but approximately 10 years of dry cupping. But the benefits that I've gotten from the cupping is always phenomenal. It's always what I'm looking for because I understand what it's doing, right? So one of the big things that it does is that it gets rid of my cravings. I fall asleep peacefully and I wake up as though I got a, a full body massage. I even wake up and there's no pressure in the head, no pressure in, the, in parts, different parts of the body. Um... My, my joints feel very, very light because that's where toxins are stored at and so on and so forth. I just feel good. My my speech feels, my, my speech, um, when I talk, yeah, my speech, it feels good. My eyesight is a lot clearer. <clears throat> I can, I still have a lot of thoughts in my mind, but the, the weight of the, uh, the pressure is not as heavy. Because you know that feeling before you get a headache, you tend to get like a heavy pressure and you go like, ah, like that. That's not there. It's no longer there. And so I want to point out that I'm not telling everybody to go wet cup. I'm not telling everybody to go pull some blood out, you know. And I've come to understand that people are going to do what they want to do and people are going to do what they like to do and people are going to do what they know, what's, what they feel is best for them. I'm not the judge. It's just that since high school, my friend and I, you know, we would go to Barnes and Nobles and read on the body. So we were already studying the body in high school at the age of 14. And I'm 33 now. So I always geared towards the natural remedies. Acupressure, pressure points. Later on, acupuncture and watching martial arts movies and how they hit you on a certain pressure point and get rid of you. And that same pressure point can heal you too. So then when I found out about cupping at the age of 20, excuse me, at the age of 22, I was like, wow, this is amazing. This is sincerely amazing. So it's not that it's not that I do not believe not going to the doctor. No, it's not that. It's just that the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad said a lot of things that we do is based on the actions that we have that we do to ourselves on a daily basis. So if you if you're not you, I'm active, right? I'm active. I'm active every single day with clients, training, boxing, name it, right? I'm active. So that my body's going to be put under extremely amounts of large amounts of stress. But on the flip side, there were already doctors and people, well, people already curing these ailments and diseases that we currently have today in the, in the United States of America. Now, me as a black man in America, we got to think over 10,000 times before we walk out of our door, Right? But on the unseen side, eight, approximately in the United States of America, 80,000 deaths are caused just by heart failure, heart disease, strokes, heart attacks, name it. Everything revolves around the heart. And why is that not being put on the news? So I said rhetorically questioning myself, like, why is that not put on the news? I said, you know what? All right. So since they want to put certain things and control the media then that gives me permission on the flip side to for me to control my health so i could do as i please right it's my body right so the cupping the stretching me getting massages the gua sha technique the, the stretching the meditation the fasting the weighing my meals the martial arts the boxing the kickboxing the whole mental thinking putting different frequency sounds on when i go to sleep since i was like 14, 15, these things in my life help me, you know, it's a, it, it helped me, you know, come to the point of health of where I'm at now, where I can pinpoint and if I see something and if it works, then I can use it to complement what I'm doing. So alongside that, yes, there are many ailments and, and problems in the United States of America, but the number one killer today is heart attack and then let alone they've been cured cancer in the late 1800s 
but that's when they tap the water. So we know this stuff already. But my mentor always taught me, he said, you can't get mad over other people's actions because you're not paying their bills. All right, that's fine, right? That is so dope. And I totally get it because if you catch me on a good day, I'm going to be in that pizzeria getting me a whole pot. <laughs> you heard? So anyways, so, but I do things alongside it to help cleanse it. Many people feel that certain things would cleanse this. Many people feel that certain things would cleanse that. Many people feel that certain things would, would heal this or heal that. It's here first. It's here. The moment, the moment you say, oh, I hope it works. You already doubted the process. Simple as that. You can change it in the, in the next second. But the moment you are already doubting and weary and wavy and, and like this when you're trying to take a certain action on, on what you're about to do for your own benefits, for your own health, the moment you have a slight of doubt, that can outweigh all of the positive that you have towards that action that you're about to take to complement and heal yourself or make yourself stronger or whatever the case is. So now, <clears throat> the doctor would say, don't eat for 24 hours before you go get a blood test, right? Or blood drawn. That same blood is carried from different laboratories so that they can test it, use it, see what chemicals do to the blood or whatever the case is. And that's how these informations, that's how the information, the data, the statistics end up in the book that we get in college, high school, junior high school, elementary, and all these other different types of schools. The statistics, the, the, statistics, the data, the information is, on health is based on the blood work that they've received from the people. So imagine if they told you, come get a blood test after three days. They wouldn't have anything to feed on. They would have, as a matter of fact, they wouldn't have any diseases to, 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 to feed on, to study on, to see what happens, to see how to manipulate the blood and manipulate the people. Now, think about it. <clears throat> I've had many people in my DM. You can get that in fruits and vegetables. Tell that to the people around you. So anyways, you can get that from fruits and vegetables. Yes, but do you own a farm? <laughs> so until you own your own farm and go pick your own fruit and vegetables and cow and chicken and say, I want that one, I want that one, or I raised it, then we can talk. All right? So, and that's, that's not a bash. That's just a checkpoint for me and you. So that's why I do the cupping to pull out. Because I got clients now that, that know me for like the last, I don't know how many years. I'm not even going to say it. It doesn't even matter. Days, weeks, months, or whatever the case is. I tell them from the beginning. You, have the, you are in the best position. Don't allow circumstances to control what you put in your mouth and how much you eat. So that's why I'm wearing away from just only personal training. I'm gonna, and I'm, I'm not com consolidating it into massage, stretch, cupping, and exercise. Yet, we're getting personal. Because now I'm direct. Now I, I can guide. Uh, before I lose focus on what I'm talking about, the cupping, the, blood, the body can rebuild blood back up, obviously. So you're pulling out from the area in which there's pain, tension, stiffness, or if you have none of that, you're just enhancing your health. Am I right? Like, let's say for an example, impotence, right? There's a lot, there's a lot of men that are impotent, okay? And that, and that deals with the heart. The heart, you know, like, when a man gets aroused, you know, the heart has to pump harder. And send the blood down there to that area that really wasn't getting blood for most of the day. Or some, well, anyways. <laughs> anyways, so, but it's the vascular system, duh. You ever seen a green hose that you, that you spray your garden with? I'm telling you something about wet cupping. That you spray your garden with and, and that little green hose. Get, get a, like a little needle on the side and the water spread out from the side. See, now the blood's leaving. All the, the, the optimal blood flow hasn't reached the penis. So when the heart pumps, right, and that piece ain't rising, right, then that means the vascular system. That means there's blockage. That means there's cholesterol. That means there's possibly high blood pressure. That means there's joint failure. That means the heart is, one of the chambers in the heart is weakening. That means one of the vessels, the bloods, the capillary, excuse me, the, 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 the blood vessel, the, um, the arteries and the capillaries are all weakening. So... When I speak or post things on fat, 
I'm leaving the woman alongside this for a specific reason because women do not have penises. When I speak on fat, the man is not supposed to be fat. We don't go through monthly cycles, right? We don't carry children, right? The lower the body fat, the more healthier you are. I worked in a vitamin shop when I was 18 for about six months. Every day, two, our average of two men came in looking for something to help them. So six months, right? To help them. And then, not only that, then every other week or so, a wife would come in and say, hey, can you help my husband? Is there something in here? And then there, sometimes there were families that come in and the man would just be, you could tell he was just mentally, physically stressed. You can tell. And they're in the sexual section. Because the herbs, right? I have to think Sister Malika because Supreme Health, whatever, Supreme Thing T, man, that got all my clients and myself wearing capes and sunglasses. You heard? So it, it, it increases the integrity of the, of the vascular system, which is the veins, the arteries, and the capillaries, so that when the blood pumps, it has to pump the blood, right? Then it can get there. But it removes the cholesterol and all that stuff like that. So, like, so now the the cupping, whether you work out hard, whether you whether you uh, do construction, whether you sit down all day at a computer, whether you walk all day, everybody has tension. But now the the alternative medicine, which is more of a natural, just little slits on the on the, on the skin, pull out the blood from the area, and down now what you put back in the mouth. <laughs> Now, what you put back in the mouth, nutrients, is, now the, the blood has more of oxygen, nutrients. Um, it can, the body can easily get rid of carbon dioxide. Now, that area of the body can now what? Regenerate. Rebuild. Become stronger. So, we have to think, before the U.S. was built, where they actually floors and buildings of hospitals what were they doing before that now i'm not trying to take us back into the old age i'm just trying to get you to think on the origins of healing the body because the more and more i learn about this stuff i don't go crazy i just go hmm and i go test it out and and next thing you know in my dreams i'm wearing sunglasses and a cape i'm good money so and then when the men around me when we talk health and they do the fasting and the, and the protein shakes and the vegetables and the fruits and the onions and the garlic and the lamb and the steak and the fish and the fruit and the vegetables, you know what I'm saying? We feeling good. But those who are weighing their food, the number one thing they tell me, yo, your stomach get flat. Uh, duh, who told you to eat everything on your plate? No one. Who made that size plate for you anyway when you go to the diners, the dinner? You know, who made that for you? So health starts in the home can you go do you go to the bathroom as much as you eat is your is your kitchen what are you cooking in your kitchen all right are you getting good sleep do you have good relationships with people in your house can you sleep good how's, how's the bedroom is, is are you sleeping good are you waking up nice um, you got good oxygen flowing through your house do you got plants in your house different things like that so when I do the wet cupping I'm, I'm extracting you know like all these chemtrails that's happening in New York the food, I don't know where my food's coming from. I don't care how much muscle I have. I don't know where my food's, I don't care how organic it is. I don't know who touched it. I don't know who rubbed their ass and picked up the fruit and put it in the bag. You heard? I don't know what truck it was on. Did they clean the truck? I don't know how long between the vitamins die from, from the garden to the time it gets to the supermarket. I don't know. So that's why I cup. That's why I stretch. That's why I promote get rid of the body fat. That's why I promote all of this stuff. That's why I post it. That's why I do it. That's why I'm hard on it. And that's why I got to focus on this so I can pass this down to the youth so that they can, or I hope that they get out the way. Yeah, but since everybody's on this health kick, right? So now let's do it then. All right? So um, my, next, my, my next video just may be on money, actually. But peace, though, all right?